Alright, what's up everyone? How are you doing? Fiesta here, and today we have HXL coming with uh, ASRock AX670E boot or reset star start time, which is the full full of the, or the first boot. And here we're seeing something crazy numbers that I didn't expect to see. Two into sixteen gigs of RAMs. It will take hundred seconds for the first boot for the Zen 4 um, motherboard right here, X670E. For two times thirty-two gigabytes, it's gonna take two hundred seconds. For for four times sixteen, it's gonna be two hundred seconds, similar. And four times thirty-two is gonna be four hundred seconds. This is the the first boot time, as you can see right here. First boot after a clear CMOS, and all the th all the timings are listed. So he's asking this question that is this the Zen 4 running a memory test on first boot or is this an AS rock issue? We don't know, but we'll see. But to be honest with you, these are some crazy numbers like huge timing. It will take a long time for you to boot first in the system when you obviously log into it. But for the first time only. So yeah. Next up, we have Intel claiming ARC 770 is on average 14% faster than GeForce RTX 3060 with ray tracing at 1080p. That's right, it's with ray tracing. And as you can see, they have shared uh, performance first party benchmarks from Intel. And this is RTX 3060 and ARC A770. And if you look into it, uh, in Cyberpunk, it's winning. Um, Fortnite, it's also winning by a big margin. That's kind of crazy. Uh, it's also losing an F1, uh, Watch Dogs Legion, a, a win, Hitman, a lead, Guardians of the Galaxy, not a lead, losing, and there's Battlefield 5 losing also. Uh, yeah, basically, most of the titles, it's kind of winning, and that's why it's 14% faster, but then again, this is the first party, so can't really comment anything on that. And if you look into some ray tracing, 1440p plus XCSS, not I have to mention that because obviously like XCSS is a tech they're gonna use for upscaling. So it's gonna be the vanilla ARC 770 without any XCSS, ray tracing enabled of course. Uh, and this is uh, A770 XCSS balanced and performance. So these are the three charts right here. All I can tell is that we have to wait for the third party benchmark to confirm if this is true or not. Next up we have something from WCC Tech, and they're saying that AMD Epic Genoa X and Bergamo CPU lineup leaked and it's gonna be Zen 4C and Zen 4 V cache chips with up to 128 cores, 16 cores per CCD, 4 GHz plus clocks and 400 watts TDP. That's right. And as you can see here, this is Epic 9004 family. And the top of the line is 128 cores, uh, AMD Epic 9754, and there's 112 cores, 96, 96, 84, 64, 48, 32, 24, and 16. So these are the whole lineup for Epic family Genoa X, which is huge, 128 cores, the max, that's crazy. Next up, we have something interesting. AMD confirms Ryzen 7000 memories sweet spot that we'll be, we'll, we have been discussing for a long time. And now we have it. DDR5 6000. That's right. It's not 6400 6, or even lower than that. It's exactly 6000. That's what AMD is confirming. That if you look, you look into that, max memory speed here is going to be 1 into 1 uh, R 5200. 1 into 2 hours is 5200 and 2 into 1 hours 3600 megatransfers per second and 2 into 2 hours is going to be 3600 megatransfers transfer per second. And this is coming from the WCC AppTech Discord and they were talking with AMD Robert and he has confirmed this that it's going to be AMD uh, for AMD Zen 4 is going to be uh, DDR5 6000 megahertz right here as you can see. Two memory slots instead of four, roughly. Yes, that's what he's confirming. Next up, we have Graymont55. He's kind of confirming, or maybe not confirming, leaking that AMD Ryzen 7000 series of uh, 4D, that's what we call it, or not 4D, it's 3D. 3D Vcache are going to be launching in CES. That's right. And if you look into uh, Video Kurt's uh, report here, as you can see, they have 
have confirmed it. Tipped for CES 2023 launch. So we all, we, I mean, AMD also shared that that they're gonna be launching, as uh, and Zen 4 3, 3D is gonna be launching in the next year, the first quarter. But we don't know when. But now we have something, some information about the CES uh, being the target for launch for these processors. And yeah, I guess it's in January, so we'll see it. It's not too far away. So I wanna, I want, I want to see how well these processors will perform compared to the vanilla ones you know so yeah excited next up we have a geekbench score for amd ryzen 9 7950x that's right and we're getting single core score of 2217 and a multi -score, multi core score of 2400 396 and this is uh published in august 30 2022 and if you look into it this is coming uh, a motherboard of asus x670 extreme and the power plant is balanced and there we go amd ryzen 9 7950x 16 cores 32 threads and a brace frequency at 4.5 maximum frequency has been confirmed and now we're seeing it performing 5.7 gigahertz that's right it's working and the scores are saying that it's hella good following up to the story we have something uh, similar, Ryzen 9 7950X Zen 4 CPU is having a test in Cinebench R23. But the question is, it's not showing its full potential. And uh, if you look into it, these are the scores that we got right here. As you can see, Ryzen 9 7950X 16 cores for probing at 4.5 GHz. Again, lower clocked. We already know it's going to be clocking at 5.7, but it's lower clocked. And if you look into this, the score is, well, the single core score is 2205. And the multi-core is 29649. If you look into the, another test, it's a multi-core multi score of 36256. And in another test, it's getting 4.6 gigahertz. But higher, more, uh, of course, multi-core score of 3,752 points. And next up, we have something very interesting. Elysian Realm commented, or uh, not commented, titled this as 30, RTX 3090 FE. Very similar to that, after the translation, of course. But my question is, it says RTX 4080. So what's going on here? Is it a 4080 or is it a 3090 FE? But very similar to that. Or is it the RTX 4080? It's just mentioning is, this is a very similar uh, cooler design. Which I can see that it's literally the same cooler they're, they're going to use. I'm guessing because it's a very efficient cooler. But it's RTX 4080. So they're prepping up. Yeah, right there. <laughs> it's there. And someone asked three, three slots for 4080. And he replies, yep. It is a three slot, or I can I can guess why it's a three slot. It's a huge chonkers, you know, graphics card. So 4080 right there. Interesting. It's got it got leaked. I mean, not surprised because it's got, it's coming real soon. So, yeah. All right, this is it for today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. And what do you think about our RTX 3090 FE, or I should say RTX 4080, because after the translation it was. Uh, well, well, it says very similar. So, yeah. What do you think about that? Is is it too big? We don't know the power consumption yet. Consumptions yet, but we will. I mean, there are some leaks about it. So, do you think it's gonna be good? Hopefully, it is.